is up everybody welcome back and welcome to just us today we're reacting to supernatural season 9 episode 3 last episode abaddon has returned and request in um abaddon has returned Eze ezekiel the one who's in sam <laughs> I'm Ezekiel, the one who's in Sam, exercised three demons, you know what I'm saying? And then and then try to make it look like Dean did it, you know what I'm saying? Just to, so Sam wouldn't recognize that, like, oh, there's somebody inside of him. I remember Abaddon's killing all these hunters because she wants to get to Dean and Sam. Where were and they went to go sit, meet them up. Sam was about to die. Ez Ezekiel came out of him. Sam still has no memory of this. Because mm -hmm. he keeps on wiping it. And then uh, Crowley's, huh? I said, where would we be without the notebook? Man. <laughs> and then um, Crowley was locked up. You feel me? And then he had Dean and Sam. Dean and Sam locked Crowley up. And then um, Crowley tried to deceive Kevin. You know what I'm saying? So Kevin had to have a heart-to-heart -heart moment with Sam and Dean. Uh, well, technically Dean had to explain to Kevin how he's family, and he doesn't realize that he is. You feel me? Because they think they're just. He said he'd die. He they, he said they'll die for Kevin. Same. That was all. That was, that's all that happens in episode two. I mean, episode to me, episode one was better. Episode one is that was like, is that was that the episode where, or was it the first episode where that one angel tried overtaking Cass? That was the first episode. I'm pretty sure. That was, yeah, that was the first episode. Word to Crowley. Apparently, Kevin's mom might still be alive. And they still have Crowley in the trunk. No, no he's in the bunker. He's in the bunker. In the oh, in, no, the, yeah, in yeah, the room. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, for one, Nate. Oh, for one. Sorry. Remember, we were having this whole discussion. I was already like, I miss the fucking Solar Sam, man. Solar Sam was some good episodes, bro. It always happens to Sam, though. Was Solar Sam one whole season? Yeah. Solar Sam. Nice was, season six. Solar Sam was the season, bro. That shit was fucking it wasn't, dark. It wasn't like the best season, though. It wasn't the best. It was, dark. It was a season where I saw we saw a different side of Sam. To be that unbelievably cold blooded? Come on, son. Yeah. I mean, finally, Supernatural, as you mean. Shedding some light on the actual main character. No disrespect to Dean. That's Dean is a great. No, Dean is a great character, but I think it seems like after season five, it seems like every single thing is about Dean. When in my perspective, it should be Dean and Sam. But it's over here, like I feel like just Dean is just more of a fan favorite, even me compared to Sam. I'm just like, I mean, I get it, but like, I feel that. I'm waiting to find that one TikToker who's just like everything Sam, because. On my TikTok now, it's just a bunch of Dean stands, which is fine by me, all right? Because they put me up on Game About stuff. But I'm waiting to find those, like, unbelievably Sam stands. Ugh. Flood that shit. Just some of those. Way. Just some of those. I guarantee there was a lot back in the day, when this show was, like, airing continuously. The thing that blows my mind is over there, like, when this show was airing, what fucking TV platform was it on? CW. See, that's why I didn't fucking see that shit, you feel me? There's also that hero show with Tyler Hawkland that's on the CW. Superman. You know what I'm saying? And it's somebody like, damn. Is like CW, like Netflix, like you have to get that and then watch those shows? I wonder what CW uh, stands for. Or CW just on TV? I mean, CW shows go on Netflix. What does CW stand for? No idea. So I was going to say Channel Network, but that'd be CN. Do you know what WNBC stands for? Women's National... No, nope. Do you know what WNBC stands for? No? Yeah, me neither. World what National... What the fuck was the point of that? <laughs> 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 World National Broadcast Channel. I know Channel. WNBA stands for it, but WNBC? <laughs> Who the fuck is going to know that? You me Why did you fucking ask that? What does WNBA stand for? The Women's National Basketball Oh my god, bro. I, it, it just clicked for me, bro. My bad. Which my is bad. so weird to me because it'll be oh, like... Huh? Oh, oh yeah, over what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Which makes no sense to me because it'll be like Women's National Basketball Association but, Association, but the NBA is just like, oh yeah, this is just a men's league. It's because it's part of the NBA. Let's just get to the episode. Ew. Hey, Clarence. How much longer are you going to be with us? I'll be moving on tonight after. Is he chewing it? I don't care. Nobody puts their toothpaste on like that. And he's not spitting it out. Oh, God. Oh, oh my god! Gosh. Ma imagine being like priests and stuff like that, and angels come and do that to you. That's crazy. Yeah, that's up. When got breakfast, grabbed you real bacon and eggs, extra grease. Not even gonna argue. Extra Perfect. grease, gross. 
I don't know how this man keeps his body in shape with all the fat he eats. I feel great. I'm sure you do. But Sam, you went through the trials. Okay, they put a big strain on you. I just think it's better if you took it easy, you know? And, Ooh. You know, oh my god. I'm going to Ezekiel. Did you see the switch up? That's yeah. crazy. I've picked up chatter among the angels. Not all are wandering around in confusion. Yeah, some of them are after Cass. I feel so weird if I was Dean though, like I'll be like talking to my brother, but this angel's keeping tabs, watching. It's kind of weird. So why don't you go check your email and, and if I need your help, I'll let you know. Dean. I said I'll let you know. I mean, you know, Cass is That's hella clean. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. so weird though. That's hella clean. That's close to show the acting of Jared Padalecki. That's what I'm saying. Why do you think they're organizing? Oh, he doesn't know. Oh. It makes sense. <laughs> if the angels come and knocking, you just let them on in no. and fill yourself up with their grace. I'm learning that's an angel. God has personally assured me that he is highly pleased with your work. I think he's just a regular human. I think that is an angel, though. Oh, he's letting another angel take over. To see that would be so weird. How is that holy? I'm confused. Because it's not black smoke. Her vessel wasn't wasn't good enough. All right. Wasn't strong enough. It wasn't strong enough. You'd think they would know beforehand. Like, damn. The simple truth is, not all who are willing are designed to contain heaven's grace. We have to expect a casualty now and then. Like the lamb of the sacrifice. Oh my god. <laughs> That's <laughs> hella evil. Hey, bro, Kevin. All of that is. That shit was fucked up. That shit was hella fucked up. I give myself over to you, Lord. Bet. Got you. <laughs> Died. I was so hungry. Very kind of you to share. You know, I'm finding that often people with the least to give are the most generous. That was a bar. It's true. You better try falling asleep. It's quite a process, isn't it? Try counting sheep. There's something so crazy about how that works. Does that work? They say think of sheep when you're trying to go to sleep. And it's like, it makes no sense how like it can sometimes work, but it sometimes doesn't. You're human? Oh! You got your ass. These angels die so quick. Yeah, but that- Angel blade. I know, but like, there's not much of a fight, like... Well, we caught him off guard. Clarence spent a couple nights and then had to move on. They must have suffered bad. But at least now they're with the angels. Oh, we got him. <laughs> sure, so I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Tattoo shout. Probably like in like so angels can't find him. The inscription. Oh. Uh, or or angels can't possess him? Or demons can't possess him? Smart. The same tattoo that demons have? Castiel was somehow able to kill him. What? I'm getting a little tired of you. Castiel has vanished. We're unable to track him. Yeah, so they got an angel the inscription, yeah. I wanna see this tattoo though. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was getting all the feelings of being a human. You get dealt such a bad hand sometimes. You need something stronger than yourself. That's a wonderful idea. Do not kill her faith. Do not kill her faith. It's not possible. Because I have my faith. But when I tell you the truth. Your truth. Thank you. There you go. It's tough. Because it's actually true, though, in the show. <laughs> what do you mean? That what Cass said is true. Like, that motherfucker dipped. Uh. And it's locked down. My kind, we always get what we're looking for, Chief. Yes. Reapers. That man's a reaper? 
This is the stuff. Help yourselves. Thanks. Thanks. Anything? His fingerprints on everything. You see that dude right there? The dude that, uh, uh, the bad angel was talking to? He's right there in the police station. What? The dude that they were just talking to? He's right there in the police station. So, what, they're using this guy to find vessels? How big a reach does this below guy have? Oh, damn. 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 Good right there. Damn, good catch, because I did not see his That's ass. That's not an angel. That's a... No, That's the a guy that they were the angels were talking to. The angel they were talking to. I did not see that fucking guy in the movie, though. So much is wasted when there's so many hungry. I never damn. knew. Peanut butter and jelly? That's going to be his favorite thing to eat. Are you be surprised? That's so nice of people to do. I've had hard times myself. She walked up out of nowhere just to do that for him. What's that one song? Hard times. Hard times. That was hella nice of her though. Right. He maybe called himself Clarence. Clarence, yeah. I think he was on the run. Did you see him with the Vic? Uh, victim? What? I'm sure a question he's Vic in like cops terms. Mm. I feel like if a person would say that, it's somebody like, "Oh yeah, we're not cops, but you just said you're looking for a victim." Sound like a cop? You can pay as well as teeth pulling. Where was he headed? He flagged a truck heading north, Detroit probably. Why Detroit? The truck was marked Motor City Meats. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be food there. <laughs> um, well, yeah. No, go ahead. Help out. Yeah, but. That's kind of scary, though. It is. It is. Wow, it's beautiful. Especially for a woman. It's only like a random man. A random homeless man. That's yeah. so tough. Look at these chemicals. You even read the label? No, I read pie. The rest is just <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Listen, when we hit Detroit, we start with the homeless shelters. Right. For how good of detectives they are, they how do they not know that? I feel like they know. Please tell me they know. Yeah. They know where he's found, they're gonna grab him. They're getting followed, yeah. Yeah, because they know they're getting followed. Who are you? Why are you trailing us? I stabbed him. He exploded. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely what a person that's trying to help you want to hear. Right. It's all new to me. Hunger. Cold. This feeling. Being all alone. You're not alone tonight. Uh -huh. She is She's a uh, nice person. angel. She's a really nice person. Really nice person. You feeling him? Hey, I'm not gonna lie. She has a lot of like oomph. Cause it's gonna be like, you're making out with a homeless man. You yeah, know? I know. <laughs> you want a homeless man to um sleep with him maybe? Okay, that grunt was hella weird. <laughs> that grunt was hella weird. <laughs> Naomi, how are you? Naomi's dead. So then who's running things now? Her protege, Bartholomew, is an up-and-comer. That is gross. <laughs> like, it's like, yay, but no. Nah. Hey, he's probably never felt this sensation. Hey, look at the tattoo! Um... What I did, that was, um... Correct? Correct? Very much so. <laughs> hey! <laughs> he said what I did, was it correct? Good. So what happens next for you? More of this, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm not even gonna lie. Say he like found a good job, made a life out of this. That'd be cool. But like from homeless there to has, there has to be more to her because I oh, no, she's you know, insane. A, a homeless man and then sleeping with him is kind of weird. It's kinda insane. Hey, first off, it's an act of good faith. No, but it's right? an act of good faith. But it's kind of good insane. faith helping him, but taking him home and, and sleeping with a, a random homeless. I would. Are you gonna take home a random, a homeless person and sleep with them? I'm not. Yeah, not, like, I, I don't know. Like, you know how, I don't know where they've been. You don't know, dirty. I, you never know. <laughs> Diseases. You never, you never know. And because she knew. Yeah. 
So is that's she an why she slept with So her. she's an angel. Angel or demon? I hope she's an angel. Ain't no way he, he got a streak on with a demon. Ain't no way. Uh, May, he, he was going to with Meg if she didn't die. And I'd have been cheering him the fuck the fuck out. <laughs> I'm letting you know. <laughs> He's talking to Ezekiel. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's such a good transition, though. Imagine Sam comes back. I'm still waiting on your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a reaper for rent on his ass. Could you find them? I can try. Jerry Padalecki is a phenomenal actor. <laughs> That's crazy. The sheriff in town, Cass. He hired a bunch of us. I got lucky. Enough questions from you. I have several. Why did you unbutton my shirt? You know the thing about bad guys? They always talk hella shit right, and then never right, kill their right. culprit. We'll right. She wants information. Yeah, you see, she's slicing the shit out of him. I didn't know he was gonna cast the angels out of heaven. I was cast out too. Oh dear, nothing but reruns on this channel. And he doesn't kill him that either. That sucks. He took my grace for the spell. Or you gave it. Why would, Why would he give it? And then be homeless. Maybe unwise to kill me. Hey, but. Uh, Homelessness is not looking that bad on him, bro. Let's keep it big. But like, baby, baby, homelessness, homelessness is looking that bad on him. No. If I'm over here letting Metatron do this and then go homeless? Oh! Ooh. Oh, okay, Cass, Cass died. Oh, no, no, but is he going to be the heal Cass, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I assume so. Damn. Zeke. Thank you! But then again, April died for no reason just now. She'll go to heaven. Yeah, but... Zeke! Cash really did just die. This is your but moment, then, Zeke. But then Sam's gonna be like, what the fuck happened now? How yeah, I saw Cash die. She's so player. So player. You think that took away from Sam, though? Maybe. From him healing Sam? That or maybe makes it longer. Yeah. Maybe it's being there longer. Yes. You okay? Bro. Hey, Jared is killing this episode. <laughs> I made a deal with her. Said she wouldn't get kebobbed if she brought you back. She brought you back. But and then died. I kebobbed her. You lied. I do that. <laughs> Nice. Good <laughs> fucking save. <laughs> hey, there's no way. Sam, you got dinged up. What? <laughs> I'm Sam though. I feel like I gotta step step it up. I got I got beat up last episode. Dean saved me from three demons somehow. This episode he saved me again. I'm telling you, he's taking the back seat right here now. <laughs> you had sex with April? Yeah, that would be where the hedonism comes in. So how was it? Did you have protection? I had my angel blade. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really matter she died. You could have really or literally. Are there any more burritos? Uh, yeah. It's... Hey, that was- Cass is a human, I like it. It's that was fucking hilarious. Did you have protection? I had my angel blade. What? <laughs> if he stays. I can't. I'm afraid I will have no choice but to leave. Sam's not well enough. If you leave his body, I know. You'll have to take Sam with him. He has to make a choice? Yeah. I, if, I'm, if I'm Dean, I'm just telling Cass the truth. Yeah. So I'm gonna be like, nah, Cass, you gotta leave. What For what reason? I just don't want you here? I can't say that. You can't stay. Yeah. That's tough. I feel hella betrayed and hella confused, like, then why the f did you tell me to come here? <laughs> why did you save me if this was gonna be the case? It's fucking tough. Oh my goodness gracious. Did you see the fucking despair in that man's eyes? Like, you serious? I would be too, <laughs> like, the fuck? I'm finally- You're gonna go homeless again? At least give him, like, a motel, like, to stay at constantly or something. Yeah, hook him up with fake I'm IDs! Not, not, as much as they jip the system? Yeah. Don't you ever do that. That was the scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. Don't you ever... So, 
having a conversation if you look up into the distance what fuck do you see over there <laughs> and no more power to you if you're seeing if you're seeing your people's lit if you mean thinking at the end of the day what was i saying <laughs> i don't know cameron <laughs> i don't know either I was gonna tell you this fire ass thing I just wrote down. Then say it! Say it. <laughs> then you get, then you knew what you were saying. What the fuck? Head ass. I had to look back at the motherfucking book. If you then say like, it. If you, if you, I feel like now if I say it, it doesn't have enough oomph. Because you're gonna just be like, Cameron, really? Because watch this. Look at the relevance of this. Cass was brought back to life and then the brothers cast him away at the end of the episode. Do you get it? Right. 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 Cass. Casted him away. Over to. <laughs> that makes no fucking sense. It's something like you guys knew what cast casting. No, no, man, it was it's, it was good. It's just can bless your heart, man. I'm zero for one and a half. You mean that was gas? Half. <laughs> I'm zero for one and a half. You mean? That's just saying, Cameron, bless your heart, man. You are a rare find, bro. Nah, but this was actually a fucking dope ass episode, bro. And I love the fact that they're showing the fact that Cass it now gets to see both sides of the spectrum. Like as an angel. All this shit may seem easy, but as a human, all that shit's on you, man. So that's freaking sick. And the fact that Cass and Dean, or Dean and Sam are humans, and they have survived this long, Cass better appreciate the hell out of them, bro. I mean, granted, they have these little helps. They have the journal, John. Angels, demons helping them back and forth. All this little get and gab. But uh, I just find it kind of dope that, like, Cass, we're seeing the human side for, he, for him get, to get to understand, like, what's it like to be, to be human. It's like, oh wow, you guys don't ever get tired from taking piss? Like, you're from urinating? It's like, alright, bro. You really must have not done anything human like. You feel me? Because this is going be like, come on, bro. I'm not even like him. Mean, he had me when he said. <laughs> so, uh. How did I, uh. Did, did, I, I, do do correct, yeah. did I do it the correct way? Did I do it correct? Yeah. Yeah. Right, Dad. When in reality. Oh, no, by the way, I hope you guys know. Our assumption of. This fucking chick April really letting a homeless man into our house for her to get her freak on? Oh yeah, it was the demon. But it, it, was, the, it was the demon. It was the angel. Because there's no way her level of oh yeah, I'm just a nice person. I'm gonna let that shit happen. Hey Cameron, I'm not gonna lie. She was restoring she my faith. Me. I was like, there's still good people out there in the world. Cause this day and age, nobody's letting that shit happen. It's gonna go as far as the PB and J, and that's it. Well, I would hope it would go as far as the PB and J. I'm not gonna let a random homeless person come up in my house. I don't sleep with them. I'm not even gonna lie though, they can act. If I'm As I've gotten older though, I've always thought like, okay, how far would I try to turn somebody's life? If I was like well endowed, like and I was, yeah, I just had an abundance of resources and money and yeah, all that. Yeah, I'll get them. If I had, if I had the, if I had the money to do stuff like that, I'd get them like a, a month at a hotel. Like, I would get really yeah. balling, balling like that, get them a month at a hotel and then Apply for jobs. I would, okay, yeah. I would, bro, honestly, I would, I would get him a job somewhere. And so I'd be like, I'd be like, yo, this is your chance to make something better for yourself. If you lose this, you fucked up. Do you remember when we were kids? This was like, man, fucking forever ago, son. We were walking home from, we we're walking to your house from my house, right? And we hit Safeway first. And then there was that random family right there in front of Bank of America. And we were walking away, and we were like halfway down the street, and you ran all the way back and gave them the last of the change that we, uh, last of the change you had after you bought your snacks from the Safeway. I'm not even like that. You don't remember that? It was that one. I think that it was, was a. Was that was moving shit in that fucking car. It, it, it was just me and Nate. Oh. Right. It was this. I think it was this Mexican family. All right. And I always remember because Nathan, we were literally like a, like half a mile away, and this food ran all the way back, and I was really like. You just had to be a piece of shit. Cause I had four dollars in my pocket or some money in my pocket. I was like, I was fat at the time. I was not finna run back. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I was just keeping it back here. I was like, I, we already half a mile away. I will help the next person I see. But this food Nathan ran back. I'm like, oh, that's sweet, bro. You know what's weird? You know, this episode kind of like shed light on like what homelessness is like for some people. Bro, I kind of hate going on TikTok now, and you see the level of like homelessness that's really, really in the world, and it's like, damn, bro. And then you see those one people, and you see those one people that are like living in like buses, like oh yeah, I dropped everything and now I'm living in a bus. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm doing. It's like oh. Well, actually, Cameron, uh, believe it or not, I 
No, I those people admire those. Those people. people are those people are finding happiness. The people that do this whole van life shit, yeah, that shit is dope. That's just clean. Their entire little build and all that shit, that all of that is sick to me. Yeah, like, and then the like, little right. community of all of them is like, oh yeah, yeah, this is what we do, and bro. And then it's like, I don't need my phone constantly. I just I live outdoors. I hike constantly. I live on the land, and I re- retreat back to my little car or my little van, when and I sleep. Down. And then I wake up in the morning and start my day, travel again. That, to me, is sick. I'll take that. I, I'm going to have to get adjusted. But I'll take that over all this ish, bro. Paying bills and shit, bro. This shit is crazy. You ever seen the, what's that movie with Matt Damon? Where, like, there's, like, a civilization of people that leave Earth. And then Earth is all fucking, like, fucked uh, up oh and destroyed. I, I know exactly what you're Earth is all, like, fucked up and destroyed. And he's over here like, wow. Um, and the entire Earth is, like, homeless. And then, like, the, the rich and the wealthy go to a different planet. They're on a ring planet that is, like, for Alpha the... Alpha Centauri. Well, that's probably what they would call it. Oh, well... The ring's probably called Alpha Centauri. Uh, probably. Where did you hear that before? Alpha Centauri is, like... I think they call it, like... I mean... In Civ Rev, like when you do science, you mm-hmm. make your way to Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri, I think it's just like the next closest habitable, pl- habitable planets for humans. Alpha Centauri? Yeah. Well, hell. So that's a real thing? Yeah. Well, hell. We're this close to making it on Mars, bro. This close. Okay, for what, that shit literally makes no sense to me because it's like, bro, as many times as they said we went back and forth from the moon... How the I f- think they just said India landed on the moon. India, the yeah. country, yeah. All of them landed I up there. I think they're like the what the fuck? Obviously, yeah. Not- I'm trying to yeah, What are you talking about right now? India sent oh, people okay. to the moon. Okay, I don't. think it was like the fourth or fifth country in the world to do it. I don't know, man. They got we're sending. I think we're sending more people to the moon. I think in 2025. I'm still. And I think we just sent. A drone just landed on Mars and there was like flying around on there. It's fucking dope to me, bro. As long as they have Wi Fi and shit up there, bro, I'll be cool. I don't want to be that guy, and I really, really hope this doesn't separate us, but like, until we got, until we as a three have an actual sit down and really, really like talk about the information that can prove that space is even real. I am always going to sit on the sit on the side that I stand on because that shit, because that shit literally makes no sense to me. Cameron, that is fine. I was talking with somebody last week who was convinced the world is flat, and I told him straight up, dog, you got it, <laughs> you got it. It's that's fine by me. But whoever out there is, whoever out here made up that lie and is going this far with it. Shout out to their perseverance because there's no way that this character right here is thinking the earth is flat. And imagine if this entire time it was a lie and they did all this research, all this evidence, all these pictures, all these videos, all this contingencies of this lie just for the earth to still be flat. I don't don't do that for a damn. Just bro, in the history of all just us, if you guys, two of you, can just answer one question for me, I'll leave it alone. Why the fuck do we choose to explore something that's not even on Earth as in outer space, if you mean? Okay. But yet the ocean hasn't been finished. The it's too, camera is too complex. It's, 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 it's water pressure. But to me... It's the, water pressure. But to me... There's no, there's, no, there's, no, like, there's no pressure of like that magnitude. In, and, it's, and it's dark. There's no, you, it's, you get too deep, shit's gonna, like, the water pressure is going to fucking explode or condense or whatever, implode whatever devices you have, and when you go in space, it's not as much water, there's not as much pressure, mm-hmm. and you have the sun to help you see. Right, but you're telling me- I, I like, I, to me, I think space is more interesting than the ocean. No, 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 it is hella more interesting, but to find that we have the technology, resources, and all that, to explore galaxies, space alone. And we're not exploring galaxies. But explore space. We, I mean, it's a telescope. Yeah, but we can go to space. For like sending people. Yeah, but yeah, water pressure and space are two different things. Yeah, but imagine, like you're telling me we have technology to get to space and back, but we don't have the technology to severely see the depths of the ocean? Well, to me, that just so, doesn't happen. It's so big and so dark. Like, we, would, we wouldn't be able to know what the fuck we know about space if it was dark like the ocean is. 
True. Okay, well then just answer me this. You're telling me we need a huge, huge rocket to shoot this huge amount of pressure just to even get us to space, right? Okay. So how the fuck when we are in space, we have enough rocket power and rocket fuel to shoot ourselves back without a, without a space station or none of that in space to shoot us I mean, back? They obviously feel it enough to get back. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a scientist to tell you how much fuel you need to get there and to get back. Yeah, no. Nah. There's, there's good points on both sides. Until one of my homies go to space and come back, I don't believe in shit. To me, until I see somebody go to space and put a live recording device and point it they at do. Earth. They have. They have. People make, people on TikTok. There's astronauts. There's there's astronauts always recording videos while they're on the space station. No, on the on Mars. On the, on, we've never been to Mars. No, on, 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 on the moon. On the moon. Well, we haven't, we haven't, we personally now haven't gone to the moon in like the modern age, like Why? in our era, because it's to the point where it's, we've already, I mean, I think we're going back there in 2025, so you would kind of get that answer then, but it's, the moon is, the moon is boring. Like what is on, what is on the moon? The moon, what is, what is how? Craters. Uh, it's craters. And, but what was the moon used to be part of? The Earth? The Earth, until an asteroid hit it, and then it broke off, and then now it rotates around because uh, uh, it ro- orbits around the Earth because of the Earth's gravity. What are you going to find on there? Craters. You're going to find rocks. And craters. Right. So craters, you're ta- wow. But okay. you're telling me... You're but that, doesn't, that doesn't do anything. Like, we already took the, ro- we already took the rocks that are on the, mo- on the moon. What else do we need it for? But Nathan, are you telling me, like, the moon is inhabitable? Like, we couldn't go to the moon and try to survive? Yeah, there's no... There's no... There's no life. Yeah, there's there's no uh, there's no fucking atmosphere on the moon. So you're telling me if I go there and I try to plant, there's no atmosphere. There's no atmosphere, so technically you die. I just think I need more than that. You from Mazur? Think I need to see somebody? I need to see a celebrity go to space and then come back and be like, you know there's what? There's been celebrities that have gone to space. There's been celebrities in space. I'm sure there has been. Like probably gone to the NASA space station. Isn't the NASA space station on Earth? That's the space station roaming the is orbiting the Earth. You mean the satellites? No, the space station. The space station literally orbiting Earth. I don't know this. This is like very common knowledge. I could have. How is that common knowledge? I thought the space station was on. It's the space station. It's. How is that common? I I could have swore the space station was on Earth. No, it wouldn't be a space station if it's on Earth. It's literally orbiting the Earth. Looking at me like that, that's like not, that's very common knowledge. How is that common knowledge? Because there's, there's people in, out, there's people out, like literally orbiting the Earth right now on the Nathan, space station. Nathan, that's like saying, that's like saying there's no life on Mars. That's not true. But where's, what's the proof? There's water on Mars. There's, there's, there's might be polar there ice has, caps. There has been proven fact that there's water on Mars. Mar- water isn't life. Water is a form of life. No, it's not. Who told you this? Water is, is, is an element. It's not a fucking... It's not life. What? Water provides life to survive. But that doesn't mean that it is life. What? You need so if food. water can provide life... And water is on another fucking planet... If There's water that you create, need water, you need a right atmosphere. Right. But water, it, water is a sign of life. There's frozen water but there's no liquid water it and it's not a frozen sign of life wind. it's just you need water to but it doesn't have the atmosphere to provide life aware but water is a form of life no it's not How, bro, bro, okay. what if, if apples you need if apples is food and you need food to survive does that mean food is alive what's an apples what's an apple well, i don't know exactly wait so you're telling me apple is is life there's water on apples so you're telling me it's life? Apples are alive? Is a tree alive? Trees are alive, yes. Exactly. That's not the same thing as apple, an apple. If an apple grows on a tree... That doesn't mean it's alive. A fingernail grows on my finger. Does that mean my fingernail is alive? A fingernail? If you just if you ripped your fingernail off and flicked it and I found a fingernail, I'd be like, wow, this is somebody's fingernail. Which means it's, this no. is a fucking example of life. No, is that fingernail alive? I'm re-fucking phrasing my fucking sentence now. Since I have to go back, what the fuck I said? I'm saying that there's a possibility. Stop taking my words directly since now I have to fucking rephrase it. I'm saying there's a possibility. Not is. I'm not making a statement. I'm, sa- I'm making an opinion that there could be. Not is. Okay, well now, if you're, now if you're gonna... 
say that, that's completely different from what you originally so said. So now, that's what we now originally that I said that, what's the problem about? now? Now that I said that, what is the problem with that now? I, I don't have anything to add on to that point, but since yeah. that wasn't the original point, obviously there's more to add on. Yeah, to so it. now that I rephrase, since I since I obviously didn't say correctly, what is what is wrong with my Who statement? Who said that there was anything wrong with that? So that's not what you really said, so that's what we were discussing about. Yeah, but I don't know how I had to reiterate what I was trying to say 15 times for you to understand that I'm just saying there could be a possibility. Not that, that's not what you originally said. And now that I rephrased okay, it, then, this is not then what I'm I have, saying. Then, then there's no discussion for me to add on since it's a completely different point than the original point. I feel like, bro, you don't believe that, though. There's life on Mars? No, there's no, not if, an atmosphere. No, if, but if there's a body of water on Mars, I'm not talking frozen. If there's a body of water on Mars, you don't think that there could be life? That wasn't the original point. I know, I'm asking I don't have you a question. I don't give a shit about if there is, if there is, If there is no atmosphere to support life, then no, there's no, then life cannot be on there if there's not an atmosphere. That's just how... The fucking universe works. I don't, I'm not the one who made the, the rules of the universe to make life sustainable. I'm, I'm asking you, if you were to go to Mars and see a body of water on No, it, I'm not going to immediately... Well, I'm going to be like, there's life on Mars because I'm on Mars. Okay, that's a valid statement too. All right, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't think of a possibility of there being other life... I would body- hope so, but I'm not going to be like, oh, there is life on Mars now, right? I would think so. Like, there's 100% life on Mars, but, well, guess what? If... That's true. Then I wouldn't need this fucking this whole suit. I'm just saying. I would think if I find if a I wouldn't, need, water a, if I wouldn't need a suit, then yeah, okay. There's a lot more possibility there's life on Mars. But if I need a suit, you need a suit. Doesn't mean you said it earlier. We if there's if we're alive, then there's a possibility of aliens being alive. What if aliens can survive with no atmosphere? We don't know how well, they adapt. That's just not how that works. Like they would adapt to a different atmosphere, but like how would we know but, how it works? That's just how you like. You literally need like if you don't have an atmosphere, then there's nothing for like things to survive. There's no survivability. There's not. Act, there's not even if there's like they can they can survive on different different atmospheres. But if there is no atmosphere, like there's no atmosphere on the moon, then it's literally zero percent chance. Like there's no life on the moon. Obviously. Then how's there water there? Is there water because it came because of Earth? It literally broke off of Earth. So if it was a part of Earth, and Earth is clearly a living what the fuck? There was no, there was no life on Earth at the time when the Moon was created. So what and that would have, and if there was, that would have one hundred percent killed every fucking uh, the thing to a, an asteroid big enough to hit Earth to break off a piece of Earth would kill a, a, like all life on Earth. So it just broke off a piece, and now that piece is dying, revolving. That us. piece is just a dead rock floating around us. Man, a complex ass uh, subject. But hey, to each his fucking own. I believe that too, though. If there's water on any planet, there has to be life there. I don't give a fuck. I wish, I wish it worked like that. I guess we'll find out. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Ladies and gents, we'd love to see you guys in the comments. We want to see you guys on Twitter as well. So please follow us at just underscore S, YT is on YouTube. If you guys can, hit the notification bell in the bottom right-hand corner to be updated on upcoming content. Miss anything, hit the logo in the bottom left-hand corner to watch content you may have missed. If you didn't know, my name is Cameron. Davion. Nathan. Ladies and gents, it has always been Just